bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy. I speak in Guapanese, I know he can't understand. The dawn of next generation consoles are upon us, and with that, begs the question, will Nintendo Switch ever get 60 FPS in Fortnite? I'm sure you've seen me, along with all the other big creators like CoughCap and Zenter and Eric MZ, make videos about how we can get 60 FPS here on Nintendo Switch. We've been trying to get our communities to email Epic Games, and if we were trying to see if we can get all of us to do it at the exact same time, maybe they would make some changes for the Nintendo Switch. But for the most part, they just gave us back generic answers. You know, they say that they hear our complaints, they're doing their best and things like that. So I decided that I'm going to take my time and go straight to the head of the Fortnite Mobile and Nintendo Switch coordinator of Epic Games, Freight Train, if you guys don't know about him. Um, and I pretty much DM'd him. I'll be putting the screenshots here on the screen in a little bit. And I just wanted to ask him and see like, is it actually going to happen? Are we finally going to get 60 FPS on Nintendo Switch now that Epic knows I mean, they probably knew this before, but now that we think Epic knows that we can just use mobile graphics and actually make a difference. And here's what our conversation pretty much ended up being. So I opened up by saying, hey, if you don't mind, can you give me a detailed message on either why or why not Fortnite on the Nintendo Switch will get 60 FPS? If you know the answer, of course, would love to cover a video on this, would really be appreciated. So what he came back with at first, he said, I really don't have an answer to it if it will ever get 60 FPS. At the end of the day, all those type of choices are up to the design team and the performance team. From the systems tech specs, while it's not, or while it is possible to run 60 FPS on a lot of games, uh, but choices need to be made in terms of running at 60 efficiently. Just because it can uh, hold 60 for a few frames or do well in some aspects, doesn't mean that it can handle the game for the long haul. Uh, so pretty much after that, I just said thank you so much for the for the insight. He said pretty much that this message that he, he told me was like a generic answer that most gaming companies look at. Like obviously if the game can't consistently run the game at like 60 FPS, or in our case, the game cannot run Fortnite smoothly at 30 FPS, then there's no way that we'll be able to run it at 60 FPS. Now the counter argument that we always bring up here in the Switch community is why can we not have mobile graphics and 3d res that we can lower like surely if we have the combination of those things there's no way that we don't run 60 fps it's pretty much what i told him um and i also asked him a question i said like can i get a direct answer from the performance team and the design team i was, I was reaching a little bit that. i just had to see i just had to see if we could get like a direct answer from those guys and he said you are never going to get an official message from those people um and i mean that, that that's all we got bro that, that is that's from that's straight from the horse's mouth that is all we got so what do we know he said that it is possible he said it is possible um it's just up to the design and the performance team but we're never going to get an official message about that so i'm sure that they know that it is a possibility whether or not they're going to make those changes i have no idea i feel like this this conversation has been out in the nintendo switch community for what feels like forever man for over a year we've been talking about 60 fps give us the graphics this and that and the reason why it's getting to the point where it's pretty scary now is next generation consoles are coming out later this year there's going to be the xbox series x the ps5 some people might even move over to pc but the new consoles are getting 120 fps and honestly if there's anyone out there in the community that still plays like fortnite on the nintendo switch most likely if they can afford the next generation console or if they can get it for like christmas or if they have a birthday coming up later this year they are going to move over from the Nintendo Switch. That is just the sad truth. I say even best case scenario, even if we get um, 60 FPS on the Switch, like even best case scenario, it doesn't make sense for someone to not get the next generation console for 120. But, you know, it's looking like we're probably going to be stuck here on the 30 frames per second. Guys, we tried. All the big creators tried. I mean, just keep hoping and praying. Like you said, these guys know about it. They know what's going on. Um, but it's completely up to them. We cannot get a direct answer from those guys. And honestly, in the comment section down below, let me know if you guys plan on moving over to the next generation console. I'm going to sort of change my, my content per se. Um, so that people can continue to watch it, whether or not they play on a Nintendo Switch or a PS5 or a PC even. I'm going to go towards more, more towards those like funny type videos, try to get them well edited and things like that. So it doesn't matter what you play on, you can still enjoy the content here on the channel. Well, that's it, guys. I think that the war for 60 FPS on Switch, I mean, I think it's out of our hands at this point. We did everything we could. We got all the big creators to reach out. We got as many people as we could in the community to reach out themselves to Epic Games. And our best answer is that the, the performance team and the design team knows that it's there. They know it's a possibility. We can get 60 FPS. Whether or not they're going to make those changes or whether they're not going to tell, they're going to tell us themselves straight up what is going on if, or whether they plan on actually doing it is up in the air. 
that's it, bro. That is the end. So, um, yeah, just, just let me know what you guys plan on doing with the for with the future of Fortnite. Or if you even still play Fortnite at this point. I've been playing a lot of Rogue Company as well. I'll still be uploading that Rogue Company gameplay on the channel. Uh, we're just going to keep on expanding and growing our content. It's just, ooh, I just, I don't know, bro. I think that the most fun part of Fortnite is either competitive. It's definitely competitive. That's like the most fun part for me anyways. It's competitive Fortnite and it's kind of hard to do on a Nintendo Switch at 10 FPS. Especially with all these end games becoming more and more stacked. So it's kind of scary for that reason. Um, you know, pubs, we know how pubs are, bro. A bunch of AIs, you kill you, you finish your POI fight off the beginning, and there's 10 people left on the map. Pubs are kind of screwed. I'm not a creative warrior myself, so I can't really do that either. Um, so I think I'm just gonna lean more towards those funny style videos and play Rogue Company as well. And I hope you guys enjoy the future of my content. If you could also let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future for Fortnite, that would help me out a bunch. I want to continue to provide that content for you guys. Just let me know. But either way, I hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe during these hard and trying times. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.